Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. Just wanted to share with you an urgent message from the Lord. I was actually in the middle of preparing for a different video under the title of our very uh, Christianity is under attack uh, because it has been for decades but the powers that be have been ramping it up really badly over the past couple of years or so uh, but as I was thinking about how to put those together and make, make, make that video the Lord put that urgency on my heart to share this one um, and brought to my memory a dream I had about six or seven months ago which I didn't think too much about it at the time but with the things developing in the world and what coming out of the horse's mouth uh, I can see quite a lot of relevance there uh, so I wanted to share with you uh, the message that I believe the Lord wants everybody on this planet to know what they're up to particularly Christians uh, I'll tell you why particularly Christians now my dream was very short and you know quick I just tell you that because I don't remember everything about it because like I said at the time I didn't think too much about it but before I uh, say anything about that let me uh, say a quick prayer so even now I won't forget everything I need to say thank you Heavenly Father for the messages you give us through visions and dreams uh, thank you for uh, your son Jesus Christ and for his shed blood on the cross of Calvary thank you that you saved us through his blood by redemption of our sins thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your only son to be crucified for our sins give me the right words O Lord to say let me speak perfectly and make no mistakes and remember everything that you want to say to people to your people and wash my tongue cleanse it and let let me only speak the words you want me to say in Jesus name amen now my dream was very um, short like, like I said uh, all I saw was the sky uh, and it was night it was dark the sky suddenly was filled with spaceships and things that looked very strange to me lights um, these so-called spaceships were forming shapes in the sky they were even shooting at well, I don't know whether they were shooting at each other or they were shooting in the sky they were forming some sort of like constellations um, and one of them I remember went very low and passed over our house they were going very fast quite a lot of them in the sky they were forming shapes as if they were writing something but I couldn't read them or at least I can't remember I could read them and suddenly I noticed a, a real constellation is missing I don't remember which constellation it was but I know I was just wondering and I was like questioning why a constellation is gone missing that's all I can remember from the dream now with all that said recently uh, it has been on the news you can uh, google it you can search it on the internet it'll just come up as you can see uh, it's all over the internet if you type you know NASA hires 24 theologians and a priest to prepare humans for 
aliens, you understand what they're trying to do to prepare humans to encounter with aliens. Now they want to know what kind of reactions you would have as Christians of different denominations if you actually see them. The only aliens around are demons and evil spirits as far as the Bible teaches us and the Holy Spirit is teaching us. Now they can call them aliens but they have been preparing minds and hearts of people through media, through Hollywood movies, that aliens exist with their phony scientists, that they come up with ideas. When they say scientist uh, said this, scientist said that, or experts said this, experts said that, they usually mean shut up, you don't know anything, we know everything. And it's funny that they, they never name those scientists. Those and when they do name them, uh, you find out they're not even scientists or doctors. They're not even doctors. They've never practiced medicine. Uh, anyway, I'm getting angry and digressing the subject. But the facts are, they will use even the scripture, and that's what they're trying to do. They want to indoctrinate the church, the people in the church that even verses in the scripture and uh, when angels appear to people to prophets and uh, to even Mary all that they want to say they were aliens and there were no angels there were no uh, demons none of that it's just aliens and they will try to perform miracles and wonders and signs, the same as my dream, so to deceive even the elect, as Jesus said. Now, when they do this, I'm not saying if, but when they do this, which is going to be this year, when they do that, this action will provoke a reaction from true believers on earth. And also angels so you might encounter angels you will know them don't be deceived you will not be deceived if you're a true born-again Christian you will not be deceived and that is why I'm putting out this uh, video as a warning so you be on the watch you test the spirits as you've been commanded as you've been guided and instructed by the uh, prophets and apostles you have to test the spirits so you don't just go with what they perform and what they say and what they do with the nice words because they're experts in sugaring up things and making things look and appear as good as angel of light Satan is expert in that and all his demons and all his vessels. So be on the guard, be watchful and prayful. Pray earnestly and seek the kingdom of God. God will reveal the true people, genuine godly people from the fake and phony ones. And God will give you the spirit of discernment to distinguish between angels and demons true believers and fake or phony Christians or even priests and pastors and preachers or evangelists or theologians you see what they're doing the Lord has however told us that there are demons there is Satan and Satan can transform himself into various shapes and has his own technology and there are demons around, we know that. There are throughout the scripture, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now, for a demon to transform himself into the shape of an alien, as Hollywood has been trying to tell us that there are aliens in those kind of, in those kind of shapes and forms, 
it's quite easy for them to do that. Now, the urgency of this message is that people need to be aware and not to be deceived. These are not aliens. There is no such thing. If anything, they would be demons. Or could be them, the powers themselves. But it's for sure, there is no aliens as they want us to believe. And why would they want to bring a priest and 24 theologians from different sects of Christianity, from different branches and denominations? Um, why are they hiring them? They pay a lot of money, obviously, to basically buy them, to buy them off and, and just say, you have, to, you have to teach your con congregations, your people, that aliens are out there to, to tell you that they were aliens. These angels, falling, fallen angels, they're actually aliens. But they will probably tell you that this was the language of the time. It's a figurative speech. If they spoke in terms of aliens and people from other planets, uh, people wouldn't just understand. So that is the kind of thing that they, they probably will tell you. I don't know how they want to prepare humans, as they say, uh, to encounter aliens. But what that means is they want to indoctrinate Christians because Christians would be the main resistant group, at least, or majority of them, I would say, would resist any such ideas. People outside in the world would probably easily believe that because they've been watching all these Hollywood movies for centuries. Christians have been watching them as well. And there's no difference. And there's a lot of them who will believe it. Even Jesus says, be watchful because in the last days, even the elect might be deceived. So you have to be on your guard, you have to be watchful, these are coming out, they have actually openly announced it, so it is not a secret thing anymore, as it was before, years ago, um, they're trying to indoctrinate churches, Christians, so they believe it. For two years they've kept you inside the house. Now, if they open the doors and say you can go out, they want you to wish to go back in. All I know is something is going on. They want to attack your Christianity and they will do that this year. This year is the year that Christianity will be attacked. And this year is the year that they want to use the Bible even and Christianity to say there are aliens out there and in the end their ultimate goal is to destroy all faiths, all religions and bring out their own one religion in the shape of New World Order. Uh, one government, one religion, one faith, one currency and all that. Uh, they're trying hard. They haven't been very successful. Our prayers have been more successful than all their tricks. And you'll see the results of our prayers in the coming months and weeks. Big people in the leaderships of the countries around the world some of them will be taken down some of them will just step down some of them will die or will be killed i don't know but they will be taken away from the scene and these things are happening and they will probably tell you is you know when they are going missing or they're out of the picture They'll tell you 
they are self-isolating or they've got COVID and this and that. But it's nothing to do with COVID. For two years, no major leader of any major country or any country, in fact, has died of COVID. When you notice that people are taken down or taken out of the picture, they'll tell you these people are um, in self-isolation or even aliens have taken them away. They are preparing people for aliens encounter. Um, and they know, they know the rapture is coming. So when the rapture does happen, they will tell those who are not saved and will stay on the, on the earth when we are taken up by rapture that we have been abducted by aliens. This is what they want to do. This is one of their aims, but they have other agenda. And one of them is to bring all the religions on the one umbrella and say, here we go. We have one religion, one government, new order. This year, uh, you will see leaders of some countries being taken out of the picture by various means. What they will tell you is to do with this virus. Um, but I tell you, it has nothing to do with that. Even as we speak, there are leaders who are already dead, but they're not telling you. And I tell you that if not all leaders, but the majority of them have their own lookalikes, their own doubles. And they are the ones on the picture that you see. Some of them are not even in existence anymore. Some of the former politicians or current politicians. And when I say politicians, I don't mean somebody just working in the office as secretary. Big leaders, leaders that you know, them, or they have been leaders. High ranking ones, not just anybody who is working in any governmental office. Just be watchful. That's the message I'm giving you. Be watchful and pray. Now, lots of people attack me for my last video. What will that do? And why should we pray? And God's will be done no matter what. Yes, but you have to do your part. Prayer changes lots of things. Prayer can even delay God's wrath, even if it is set and it has to happen. This is a warning video. This will happen, whether you like it or not. But you are warned. You're warned, so you prepare yourself in minds and spirit and so you won't be deceived. And pray, keep praying. Our prayers change things. The Bible says, prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Your prayers will avail a lot. Continue in prayer. Don't cease. Don't stop praying. Jesus says, to his disciples when he comes back from the prayer three times he comes back and he says could you not watch for one hour and pray with me that implies one hour is just the minimum that you can pray but i'm not asking you to pray i'm not asking you to pray for me i'm asking you to pray for you so don't attack me please Pray for understanding. Pray for God to give you wisdom and protection. Pray that you won't be deceived. Pray that your flight won't take place on the Sabbath. That's what Jesus says.
so your prayer can change. If not, he would have not told you that. He would have not told you to pray. A prayer has to be in love and has to follow some actions. You have to stand on your ground. Don't back down. I'm going to make a page on our website jesusministries.co.uk specifically for people who want to share their thoughts about my dream uh, or if they have any suggestions or anything else in this respect so they can go there and share their thoughts or their maybe interpretations or whatever they want to say they can of course put their comments here but if they are more specific and they want to just specifically talk about the interpretation or the dream itself uh, or they have their own take on it then they can go to this page and put in their comments there all right i'll just close it here this was a heavy burden on my heart again and it was urgent I felt the urgency and I had to say this as soon as possible I had to post it as soon as possible so that is why I'm doing this instead of the video I was preparing to do I hope to see you again with another video and with another message until then goodbye and God bless